Hey, this is Rob from the YouTube channel Rob Motive, coming at you from the sunny state of Texas, USA. And you're watching Trucker Josh Vlogs. <laughs> Try pulling a box down the road today. Got the fifth wheel all the way back. There is enough space, I checked. Gotta pull this down to Thief River Falls and back. Let's bring this box down to America. There's some stuff in it that somebody needs. I'm their man. feels like I'm pulling nothing which I mean is great for the fuel economy so I'm bringing this trailer down to Minnesota I'm bringing it back empty dropping it in the yard hooking onto a flatbed bringing that empty flatbed over to Bronkill uh, south of Winnipeg or southwest of Winnipeg dropping that there grabbing a loaded one tying it down going out to Alberta with it and I got a reload coming back I think that's the plan before we go too far, oh, Flying Jay's got a coffee in there for me, I bet you anything. I didn't call ahead, but I'm trusting that they'll have coffee ready for me. A little bit of bean to cup. Mmm. Feels really weird pulling a box, but it's, uh, truck's handling it very well. It's actually, because it's like a brick wall headed through the wind, right? just pushing wind all the way down there like a big like a brick wall <laughs> a big sail going against wind but uh, since it's a very light load and the wind isn't really a problem today not really noticing any issues the load we got waiting for us after this is a flatbed load though Come on, Josh, find a gear, find a gear, Josh. It's supposed to be professional, Josh. It's supposed to be professional. How long have you been driving, Josh? What are you, new? You rookie? I know, even I have trouble finding gear sometimes. Uh, it's always this one, though. It's, it's that one. I don't need fuel yet. I'm going to fuel on the way up that I have full tanks, but I guess I could fuel now. I mean, I'm here, right? Then I don't have to fuel on the way up. I may as well fuel now, I guess. No, 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 they're waiting to unload me there. No, nope, not wasting any time. Fuel on the way up. Just pulling through here, just grabbing a coffee. Not wasting any time. Uh, that guy's waiting down there in Thief River that want to unload me today yet, and I don't want to keep him waiting. I'm sure they can understand that I should at least get a coffee. I mean, it's very important. Very important. Must. They might even say it's the importantest thing. Much importanter than other things. Alright, alright, alright. Oh, yes. Put my shoes on. Let's not waste fuel. Shut her off over here. 
she hasn't been pulling too hard. If uh, the truck's been pulling really hard, then when I first stop, I let the truck idle for five, five, ten minutes just to let the turbo and everything cool down a little bit before I just shut it straight off. Uh, I've heard that that's good for it from good, reliable sources. There we go, got my shoes on. Let's let this know. I'm going in to grab coffee. I am not on duty. This is a private, this is a private thing. It's a private affair. Not that kind of affair. Silly people. All right, oh, I need my key. I forgot to bring my spare key. I'll just have to bring my fob with me. You know, whatever, I'll just bring the whole key with me. I don't have to leave the truck running now when I'm out of it because I don't have diesel with me today. Don't look at my sleeper. It's not ready yet. I haven't set it up yet. Diesel's uh, gonna be a part-time trucker. So he's staying home with Britt and with all his brothers. He's gonna have a good time uh, while we're out here on the road. I'll have him in here more often than not, probably. At least 50% of the time, but he's an old guy already and I think it's only fair to him to, you know, these are his golden years and it's only fair to him to, you know, not hog them to myself and be greedy with him. He also wants to spend time with the rest of his family. This is gonna be a pretty late day. We're in Karlstad, Minnesota. Got about another half hour down the road at Thief River. Quickly unload these few things. I think I got like five skids in the trailer. They're pretty big ones. They take up most of the, like the whole trailer, but. Get those off the trailer and uh, head back, drop this trailer, grab a flatbed. By the time I get to my reload, that'd be pretty late. And hopefully it won't take too long to tie it down. I'd like to get a little ways down the road today. We'll do what we gotta do, eh? This is where these, uh, this Matt Tracks business is. That smart car on tracks, remember that thing? The Hummer. I have a couple of viewers that are from this town, so if you're watching right now, hi, I'm waving at you. Not sure where you are, but I know you live here somewhere. This is gonna be a long day. We're back. And there's still lots to do. Just parking this empty trailer here in the empty lineup. And then I've got to grab an empty flatbed, run over to Bronkill, Manitoba, drop that empty, hook onto a loaded trailer there, tie it down. And that's one of those loads that uh, took me four hours last time. And we're gonna tie that down and then go find somewhere to sleep. It's gonna take a little while yet. Yeah. Gonna throw her in that spot there and uh... <laughs> no wasting time, I'll get out of here. Let's get out of here, just wanted to update you. Here's my new trailer. I'm bringing this over to Bronkild. They're gonna have a loaded one just like it, ready for me to tie it down. Oh, Joy, these don't have the sliding ratchets either. That's fun. Oh, those trailers are always super fun. Uh, so here's my tarps. They were with this trailer, because that's the one I took with me before. Just threw these on here while I went and hooked onto this so that they were out of the way. But now we're gonna throw them back on the trailer. Uh, I'm just gonna put them on there like this for now. That's the end tarp. Uh, that's an end tarp. They're probably at least 50 pounds each, maybe 80, 50 to 80 pounds each. Uh, uh, okay. Climb up here, and arrange them, put the center one in the center. The end tarps on the end, makes sense, right? These come with me everywhere. I pay for these, so. My money goes into them. I take them with me, I take care of them. Ratchets on that side, okay. Let's grab a small strap. Nice and short one. This one's nice, nice and short. Okay. It's gonna be dark by the time we get there. Let me tying down this load in the dark. 
Yay! That's one of my favorite things to do, especially in this season when the mosquitoes will eat you alive. Absolutely. Who wouldn't want to be eaten alive by mosquitoes? I mean, that's a good time. That is a Manitoba pastime. I need this. Yeah, the sun's gone down already. And my trailer is about, oh, probably about an hour away from here yet. And it's 10 o'clock now. The sky looks bright, but remember, it's summertime in Canada. It's 10 o'clock at night right now. So we're gonna tie this down here, put this in here, and rush over there. Good thing I have lots of energy. I got a good sleep last night. I'm gonna tie that load down. Hopefully it won't be as bad as last time. Because last time, oh, you remember that one we took to Alberta? Had everything sort of just, sort of balancing on top of each other, right? Remember that? Oh, it's another one of those babies. Woo! Oh, we're gonna have fun. Into the night, we will be strapping, strapping. Into the night, we'll be tying down. Cause that's what we love to do. My songs are not the greatest, I understand. But they make sense. There you go. Closed, closed, tarps, trailer hooked up, lights working, pre-trip done. We're out of here. Into the night, we will be strapping. Into the dark of the night, we will be tying down. Oh, okay. oh, I left myself on driving that whole time. That's wonderful. Why don't we just waste those hours away? Take your shoes off, Josh, in your truck. How dare you? Shoes are allowed on this mat here, but they have to stay to the side over there. All right, no diesel in here to laugh at my jokes, so. Oh, there's a lot of pressure on you guys to laugh at my jokes. All right, let's see, let's give her. Dim this, why are you so bright in my face? Okay, I don't know if you can see it in my mirror over there, this trailer's got a lot of chicken lights on it. Trucker George, why do they call them chicken lights? I don't know, no idea. Ask the chickens, no idea. The marker lights, all the extra marker, marker lights that aren't necessary, like the ones under my headlights and the ones along the side of my cab, the ones that I don't have to have, but I have because they're nice, those are chicken lights. Everybody. It's dark out, but I finished tying down this load. It's probably about midnight. I didn't even look at the time yet. It didn't take as long as the last one, so that's good. It was a little easier. Here we go. I'll show you more in the morning once the sun is out again, but you can see, see all of it for the most part here, eh? Looks like a little bit of a mess, eh? And you would be right. 
and you can't even see all the way to the end here all of this yet and then there's a part right at the back there you can't see it's all in the in the shadows right now it's had to tarp it in the back so hey but the weird thing is they left me a tarp here one of our tarps so i used that tarp to tarp it and i'll just bring that one back to the yard when i'm done so i didn't even have to use my tarps bonus everything looks good i'm gonna pull her out of here and uh, go a little ways down the road and then we'll do a load check do a strap check i think we're good to go though strapping in the dark you and me going strapping in the dark flying in the mosquitoes having lots of fun Just strapping it down. No? No, that one didn't work either. I'm trying here, people. I'm trying. I'm not a musician. I'm a trucker. Oh, water! I need water! Oh, that is good. Oh, it's not midnight. It's, uh, Quarter to one in the morning. Woo! While you were snug and asleep in your bed, Trucker Josh was working. Never call me lazy. Ah. Okay, I gotta do my paperwork here. Woo! At least it was a really nice evening, a really nice night. It's like almost one in the morning, quarter to one in the morning. I'm outside in a t-shirt and shorts in Manitoba. Summertime is great. Absolutely fantastic. Mm -hmm.